Jason LaDuke, back with you here, helping you become the kind of leader you wish you always had when you were first coming up. We're going to keep exploring leadership styles, our series on leadership styles, and today we're going to be talking about the laissez-faire leadership style. Now, this is pretty much the opposite of when we talked about the authoritative style, which was, I tell you exactly what to do and you do it. The laissez-faire style is, you guys are smart and clever and creative people. You know what you need to do. I'm going to get out of the way unless you come and tell me you've got a problem you need me to help solve. It's kind of like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer walks into the control room. They've made him the manager of the nuclear plant. He walks into the control room and he says, are you guys working? And they say, sure thing, boss. And he says, can you be working any harder? And they go, you got it, boss. And they start clicking away a little faster and a little harder on their consoles. And it's really kind of where we all want to get to as leaders, right? We've given out strategic direction. Everyone knows what they need to do. They go off and do it. And we all get to celebrate when the wins come in. But it's actually a little bit harder than that, because while it's great if you've got a team with knowledge, skill, creativity, innovation, and has a really good understanding of the strategic big picture about why what you're doing is important, the outcomes you're trying to get, and who's impacted by those outcomes, if they don't have that strategic big picture, if they don't really understand the outcomes, it can kind of go sideways. It can kind of go off in a, little, in a couple of different directions that you may have to get involved in. and as always, we talk about using another leadership style to get things back on track. I remember when I was uh, teaching a course called Practice of Command at Air Command and Staff College in Alabama, and we were talking about one of the pitfalls of this. One of the women who was one of the instructors in the course, she was a reserve lieutenant colonel, and she was telling us she had just come off of a year of active duty working for a three-star general. And he was a very laissez-faire leadership style kind of guy. But whenever he would say he wanted to do something or he thought something might be a good idea, as good employees, as good followers of a laissez-faire leader, they would run off and do it. And then when they went and showed him what they did, he'd say, why did you guys do that? So they came up with a rule, again, being good, good followers of a laissez-faire leader, they came up with a rule that if that general didn't mention the same thing three times, they wouldn't go off and do it yet. So Laissez-faire leadership, it's great. It's where we all want to get to, but really important that our team has the knowledge, the skills, the creativity, and the understanding of the strategic big picture in order for us to employ that style successfully. Now, if that's not working, if you're trying to employ this style and it's not working, you may need to shift to another leadership style that is a little more direct on setting expectations, setting incentives, setting rewards, and... Uh, helping set them up to be the kind of employees, the kind of team that can work with that laissez-faire leadership style in the future. And as always, you're never using one leadership style at the same time. You're mixing all of these styles. Don't think of them as styles as much as techniques. We keep talking about that in these videos. These are tools and techniques and tactics for you to use in your own personal leadership style to get to the desired outcomes you have, meet your goals, meet your organization's objectives. Now you've got one more leadership style in your quiver of tools, tactics, and techniques. Please like, comment, and share this video. If you know someone who could use it, send it on to them. If you have any questions, slide into my DMs. I don't mind. I hope this was helpful in developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.